Hello, I'm Jill Davis, a herbal practitioner and co-director of Herbs Hands Healing. I wanted to talk to you today about my favourite and special and wonderful rosemary and how it can enrich and help our lives. It's beautiful, just look at it. It's evergreen as well, which helps. It's available winter and summer and it flowers prodigiously, quite often twice a year and we can use the flowers as well as the leaves. Rosemary is a bit of an all-rounder. It helps us to keep us calm, reduce anxiety, whilst also encouraging better brain function. It's hugely anti-inflammatory and is an excellent digestive and liver gut aid, as well as strongly and antimicrobial, keeping bad bacteria at bay. It is, of course, a premier circulatory herb, keeping us warm and more active, detoxified. In fact, it was our ginkgo long before ginkgo was introduced to us. Let's go back to the brain for a minute. Modern research shows that it stimulates brain function yet reduces anxiety. A very interesting study was undertaken with nurses taking exams using rosemary essential oil around the head area. The results showed lowered cortisol, the stress hormone, and heightened memory retrieval. New proof, old knowledge, as they say. In ancient Greece, students wore a wreath of rosemary on their heads when taking exams. Equally, Shakespeare's quotation, rosemary for remembrance, says it all. I personally use rosemary a lot, and I use it frequently uh, as a herbalist for my patients and customers. It helps people keep sluggish circulation at bay. It aids poor circulation and helps with things like SIBO and other gut bacterial overgrowth situations. As I said earlier, it helps mental clarity, it brings calm and reduces anxiety. It's a popular tea also with those who have brain fog for whatever reason. It's also used for those with Alzheimer's as its 12 antioxidants are under over six compounds to prevent the breakdown of acetylcholine it, it's all this that helps, as it is the deficiency of choline and acetylcholine that is undesirable for Alzheimer's. So how do we use it? Well, you probably know, we chop small amounts into salads and other raw foods. Not a lot, it can overpower, it's bitter, but bitter's good for our gut, and that's why it helps digestion so readily. You can also put it into smoothies. You can make a tea, as I mentioned earlier. And this is a lovely green drifting out of the rosemary, freshly made. I make a spritzer, and you can do the same. Um, you use 10 ml of essential oil of rosemary into 250 ml of water. Give it a good shake before you spritz it. And then just do that. And you can do that in the morning if you feel a bit foggy. Uh, or in the evening if you're trying to get some work done or drive. It's great to have around and great to share. So, again, grow it, put it in a pot on a balcony, and if you don't have either, go to the supermarket and buy the fresh version. But enjoy it, and there's always fr dried versions as well. There is a caution. Those with high blood pressure need to be careful. Just watch your high blood pressure, monitor it if you use it, or use a little, or suddenly, perhaps not at all. But give it a go. Thank you for listening.